Hey doing and thanks for tuning in to Wicked Warnings, your number one source for construction and emergency safety strobe lighting and equipment for cars, vans, buses, bicycles, tricycles, SUVs like this beautiful 2022 Ford Explorer, brand spanking new, uh, almost no miles at all on this, still has a screen protector over it. This is for a company we've done a lot of work for, a lot of explorers around the Chicagoland area, Thomas Engineering Group, you might have seen them. You might have seen some of the reels that we posted a little bit earlier for this particular three car build as well this is one of three pieces done all identically what you're looking at right here in the front is our lin 6 it's a lin-6 light that's an amber light we have it in all different colors if you like though it has six very bright leds in it set up to alternate as you can see on a 75 fpm alternation it's mounted on the grill there with our 90 degree aluminum bracket now we mount the bracket backwards and you can see we screw it down by pre-drilling first we have some detail on that at the end of the video. We're gonna show you all the parts that we used to create this build, put it all into one package for you, give you all the detail we can. So stay tuned at the end for a lot more additional detail. Alrighty, around the back of the car, we've got a pair of our LED HAW Duo in low dome, down in the reverse lens in amber. That's set again to alternate like the front on a 75 FPM alternation flash pattern. Above it is our six head wicked stick in an amber white setting. Now you could set it to flash amber, set it to flash white. That wicked stick even has a steady flood white wire for a trigger as well if you want to use that feature. What we have selected here is just an amber white, one of the amber white patterns. We do the same pattern on all of the fleet for this particular client. And uh, as I said, there's quite a number of these silver explorers running around Chicago. Now, if you've been a fan of the channel for a while, I'm sure you've seen me do this stick mount with one of the luggage crossbars before on different Explorers. This one being a 2022 has an all new style of mounting, has a uh, tamper proof Torx now to hold it down, I guess, to prevent theft. And it has kind of a, a, peep, a rubber coated U clamp that uh, goes underneath the rail and hooks. We were able to shorten that rail a little bit. We took about one inch of length off of the overall width, which allowed us to bring it all the way back to the to the farthest back position, as you see, right in front of that shark fin antenna where we mounted our stick light. Now we just used an in-house 90 degree bracket to attach the stick light from the back mounting bolts provided to the underside of the crossbar. We use some self-tapping screws to get into the aluminum crossbar. Relatively easy to do, easy to fabricate, just a general 90 degree bracket. About an inch and a half by inch and a half is all you will need. We ran the wire then down the driver's side, drilled through the small plastic cover, and went in to the boot that the power liftgate strut wires pass through. And there's a little bit of detail of that also at the end of the video. Now for switches, we went with one of our nice, bright, full illumination, three-quarter snap-in switches. You drill a three-quarter hole and you snap it right in. We did snap it into this removable cover on the left side of the dashboard. Um, nice and cheap to replace if we ever did want to take the lights out of the vehicle. And there's a bunch of different spots you could drill into the dashboard. But with this bright switch down low, it's easy to see that it's on. And again, it's in a removable cover in case this company decides to decommission this vehicle and send it uh, back into personal life. We could always switch that cover out. I think one of my favorite things about this client that always throws people for a loop is their reflective graphics. As you can see, when you turn the camera flash on or off, the graphic kind of jumps out and appears to light up. Well, that's also what it does at night or in low light conditions when a car's headlights hit it. So as you go by this uh, vehicle or uh, at a 90 degree with your headlights on, that's what you're going to see. If you like that kind of graphic and you're local and you need some quotes on that, go ahead and get a hold of us at info, I-N-F-O at wickedwarnings.com. We can take care of you on that. Alrighty, so I hope you liked what you saw. If you want to tune in right now for some more information, I'm going to kind of go over this build front to back, tell you all the parts that are involved, everything you're going to get if you do happen to buy this bundle. Now, the one thing that we are not providing that you will need to get locally is that roof rack crossbar. That's a Ford dealer item. I'm going to post and uh, update the part number here for you. That you will order on your own from your local Ford store. Everything else we will provide in the bundle. If you have this car and you want to do exactly this, let's start talking about it right now. So in the front, what you have is your 90 degree bracket and your Lin 6 lights. Those lights are going to come with six inches of wire on them. We're going to give you 25 feet of 22-5 wire to extend each of those lights and bring them into the cab of the truck. Now I'll show you how to do that after a little bit uh, towards the end of this video. 
So that takes care of the front there. We have the detail on that. We're also going to put a fuse kit in. It's underneath the hood here. You can see you're going to grab your power right there from the stud underneath this cover. And here's where your fuse kit's going to be. Okay. You can grab your factory ground right here. That's where you can ground your main. We're going to give you 25 feet of 16.2. That's going to be this wire here, your power and your ground. It's going to feed in. I'll also show you there's a factory grommet way down there. See the wires that are coming out of it right down there? Okay, so that's the factory grommet we're going to go through right down there. We're going to make sure to try to get a drip loop in there, meaning the wires are going to come out of the firewall and go down, not up, so water doesn't wick its way back into the vehicle. We're also going to put a little bit of RTV on the inside and seal that up from the inside after we run the wiring through there. You're going to run both your grill wires through there. I just ran one of the grill wires right along here right along the top and I've got a little bit more detail uh, about how the grill, how you fish the wiring through. It comes up through here and then comes out down there. This is one of the grill wires right here. It goes down there along the core support and comes out underneath there. So that's gonna get you, sorry about shaky camera guys. So that's gonna get you your power and your ground and your grill lights into the cabin of the truck and it's going to come out kind of right below that switch in the far back so very easy to get to and uh, very easy to get the wiring right up into there now from there of course that's your power for your switch it's also your power for your two front grill lights and your synchronization uh and we're not going to use the flood feature in the front but uh if you really wanted to, you could, but there's no reason. Um, we're gonna give you a single switch, and we're also gonna give you 25 feet of 18.6. The 18.6 is to go from here, along here, to the back, and that's gonna come up behind this tail light on the inside of the vehicle. The 18.6 is gonna give you the ability to get all your functions out of the back of this set up with the bar and the hideaways now if you want to use the flood that's fine there'll be a wire there for it if you want to tie the white flood off of the reverse you can go ahead and give that a try i would put a diode there we did not do that yet so that's untested do that on your own but it should work okay with the diode between the factory wire and the flood wire on the light bar you can also tie your hideaway duo power and ground which is all you're really going to need on this you're not sinking with anything so all you need is power and ground you can share the power and ground for the duo from the stick on the 18.6 um, that's how we're doing it we're running one power and ground back there for everything so uh, there will be more detail i have some more i have little clips that i filmed throughout the install so hopefully i covered everything i tried to post everything that uh, was crucial and um if you have any questions let me know i'll try to put up some more information drop a comment and uh, as i said this will be all parts there is some assembly required of course you're going to be making your own connections setting your pattern uh you're going to be required to get the little l bracket that 90 degree bracket it's a very simple 90 you can use any kind of 90 from home depot or ace hardware uh that'll be on on you um and the crossbars but we will provide the light stick the wire for the light stick the hideaways in the back the wire for that to run forward the switch the fuse the wiring for the switch and the fuse the grill lights the 90 degree brackets in the grill uh as well as the grill wire the wire for extending the grill lights we're also going to give you uh three different sizes heat shrink eighth three sixteenths and quarter uh, a nice assortment of each to seal up all your connections and uh then it's just up to you to kind of put it together so make sure you check all the manuals for these products so you understand how they work and uh, stay tuned right now for a bunch more information on this particular 2022 Ford Explorer build so you can do yours the same way. Thanks again for watching Wicked Warnings. Hey, how you doing? Uh, just a little mid-process build detail here on these grill lights. Uh, how I did it, you can see here by the photos, we screw them down with the bracket. We flip the black bracket backwards. We use the included screw for the Lin 6 to go right in the bracket. Um, I pre-drill with a long bit, but you can easily do it with a smaller bit and a 90 degree adapter. Uh, shoot the screws down with a adapter like this by DeWalt with a Phillips that goes right in there. Locks that screw down real nicely. We use a long panduit strap zip tie as a chase. And uh, they're going to basically go in here. I'm going to show you where you're going in. 
right up into the corner here is where we're going. Kind of behind that rubber gasket. And then over here on this side, right in there as well, okay? Now what we're shooting for, we're aiming like this, okay? And that's gonna end up getting us underneath the grill on the inside. This one's a little tricky. The passenger side you gotta play with, but it comes out down there, you see? And that's how you can chase your wire right through without taking the whole bumper cover off. Now the driver's side is much easier. Pardon the shaky camera, I'm just holding it in my hand. Driver's side just comes out down there, Let's see? So you use that to chase the wire through and then bring your wire inside. And uh, we're gonna go through the grommet, the unused rubber boot under here in the firewall. I'll show you where that is right now real quick. <sighs> that boot right there, that's a rubber boot we're gonna go through and we're gonna use a chase strip to get through there as well. We'll be bringing the wiring from the battery and the grill lights through there. All right, here's a little follow-up info uh, on wiring for these Explorers. This happens to be a Fleet of Three 2022 Explorers. And uh, I just want to show you how the wiring got from the switch to this area we are in in the back here. So first off, you can come out of the back of the switch with any wiring you need to come down here, tuck it behind these panels. You can go underneath this panel. Now, you don't necessarily need to remove this whole panel if you don't want. You can tuck that wire uh, nice and far underneath there. And it gets just a little tricky right around back here. It's actually easier to push the wire through. There's a little cover on the seat belt where the seat belt bolt uh, retainer is. Uh, you can uh, pop that cover off and then push the wire through that way. That's gonna get you almost all the way back here. And uh, what I did is I did take this panel off. It just pulls straight up. There's some fasteners underneath it, but it's very easy to figure out. Just basically pulls straight up. And that'll allow you the access to pull the wiring all through here. You can push this panel out a little bit and fish the wiring straight to the back. And once you disassemble the back, these side pieces, they pull up and they come out on each side, which is a good idea by Ford because it gives us a unprecedented access to all underneath here. It's actually quite easy then to pass the wire for your hideaway through the grommet. It comes out basically down on the bottom or you can reach your arm up in there and grab it. And we just zip tied that wire straight across here following the factory harness and went over here with it. Now here you can see down there where we have our Haw Duo module, we're going to tuck all that over in here. Now, your vehicle may or may not have an auxiliary battery there, so you might not have as much room as we do, but you can still get access uh, once you remove that panel to this area. Um, and you see another wire coming down there. That's our wire for our six-head stick on this build. That wire actually, and I'll take you inside to show you how to pass that through. It starts up here on the stick. We zip-tied it there. We come around like this. And right here, we drill a small hole. We just put a little bit of RTV there to mostly help lock the wire in. It uh, it really doesn't need to be waterproofed there. It's just a, a plastic panel. We're going underneath that panel. We're coming out right about there. See it? And then it comes down, makes a little loop, kind of like the factory, a drip loop. That way any water on the wire will go down and drip off. And then it goes up. We poked a small hole right here through the factory boot and RTV'd it in real nice there. And that is where it passes into the vehicle. Now that boot has plenty of room on the right hand side there to poke a small hole and pass the wiring through. And you, you can go do that without affecting the, uh, the automatic shock here. Okay, part two of uh, the wiring. Once inside the vehicle, you pull this uh, panel off here and you may wanna order some of these metal clips that clip in the center of your screen because sometimes like you can see this one bent up and was not usable once we pulled it out this panel just pulls off a couple of orange clips on the bottom may or may not fall off you might have to retrieve a couple of those uh leave it attached to the seat belt and just bring it down and that'll allow you this all this access here you can see in here is actually where our light stick wire is coming from it's right up in here right along with the factory wire that goes there and we were just running it up and we're zip tied it here for to keep it up nice and high we bring it right down here along that edge next to the factory wire and it goes straight down and literally it, it falls right down and comes out the bottom so it's very easy to get to all your connections right down here on the bottom for any of your wiring running forward for your light stick for your haw duo 
and uh, anything else you're doing. Here's that cup holder upside down. You can see it's all just orange clips that hold it in. This is what goes in the car, just like that on the passenger side. Um, as far as your rear piece here, uh, all this other stuff just lifted out, like literally nothing's holding this in. This piece here, you have one wire connection going here, and then it's all just clips. This pulls straight up and back a little bit, pulls right out. You've got some clips here that face into the, basically towards the bumper, and then these clips face down because this piece sits in the car just like this. So when you pull it out, you actually have to kind of pull out and up. That's how this removes, out and up. So, and then uh, that's pretty much it. Pull all that stuff out of the way. And that's all your access for the uh, 2022 Ford Explorer.